Storm Tracker 9 weather with Joy Vaca. Good Sunday morning, folks, and it's not much of a sun day out there. It's actually entirely rainy wherever you are. Let's hop on out, take a live look across the region where, quite honestly, we aren't seeing that much. Clouds and rain are the story today, and especially cool temperatures. Now, also, I wanted to show you what the passes are looking like because we are seeing quite a bit of snow out there already. We are also tracking a winter storm warning that's going to last at the beginning of the week for the passes, but down in the valley, not quite seeing snow. But what you are seeing as we take a look over the belt line is extremely wet roads already this morning, and it's going to be sticking around all day. So if you are driving out there, be especially careful. Take your time. Give yourself some stopping distance because those roads are slick everywhere from the coast to the valley all the way down in Roseburg. Rain is the story. Now your Willamette Valley Day Planner. That's what I said. Rain's the story starting at 8 a.m. Temperatures lower end of the 50s and frankly, folks, not really warming up much. We're only going to get to around 52 degrees by noon. And then as we approach this evening, that's going to dip to the mid 40s. So even cooler tonight and tomorrow is going to be a cool one as well. Now, what can we expect for those rain chances? Well, it's going to be a wet week ahead. Take a look at this. I don't think in the time that I've been doing this with you, we've ever seen rain chances so consistent for the week. Now, once we get through the meat of the week, are we going to have a drier weekend? Not really. That's going to stick around. Maybe by the time we get to a week from today, we're going to see those chances start to drop. But even right now, now again, that's a week out, so we still have plenty of time. We are tracking chances for then. So do not put away the umbrella this week. Keep that rain jacket close. It's going to be a wet one all week. Now, what does it mean for those temperatures? Well, they're not much of high temperatures at all. Take a look at this mid 40s tomorrow on Monday, 50 on Tuesday. Now, I guess the only good news is you can expect consistency. I mean, take a look at the rest of the week. We're sitting just about the lower end of the 50s, warming up a little bit to the mid 50s on Friday and then again to those lower 50s on Saturday. That's going to be the story, folks. It's going to be a cool, wet week. Now take a look at the pattern and see why. We're not getting any of this warm air to ridge up that we've been seeing the past few weeks. Instead, this cooler air is what lingers, bringing with it that moisture as we push towards next weekend because this is Thursday. Now we start to get that, but not enough of it to really shake a whole lot of that moisture that we're going to be seeing as that passes over our area. Once we get to the start of the following week, that's when we might start to see things dry out. But we're going to have to get through all this rain first. Seven day forecast will show that out on the coast. I mean, it makes it real easy to read, isn't that right, folks? Just rain across the board. Temperatures, like I said, for the better part of the week, sitting in the mid to low 50s, warming up a little bit, but not quite breaking 60. Over down in the Umpqua Basin, even chillier actually, but same story there, rain across the board, mid to low 50s for the better part of the week. And like I said, over the Cascade Passes, snow's the story for the early part of the week. We're also tracking a winter storm warning uh, from today into tomorrow. But expect chilly conditions, a rain-snow mix to start your week, and then rain in the back half. And down in the Willamette Valley, same story as everywhere else. Temperatures in the mid to low 50s, bringing with it a whole lot of rain. Set it. Keep that umbrella close.